Good day everyone and in this video we are going to try and solve question 1a of the 2021 NCA level 3 statistics paper it is called probability distribution without further ado let's try to read question 1a part 1 and in part 2 we'll bring in the graphic calculator to solve the question so part 1 sounds like this it is estimated that on Memorial Avenue in Christchurch there is a probability of 0.45 of being required to stop encountering an amber or red light at each of the six set of traffic light on the road. Distances between each set of traffic light range from 0.6 km at the shortest to 1.2 km at the longest. Suppose that the number of times a driver is required to stop at the six set of red light or traffic light when they drive the complete length of Memorial Avenue can be modeled by the binomial distribution. So we are going to use the binomial distribution. Justify the use of the binomial distribution to model the number of times a driver is required to stop when they drive the complete length of the Memorial Avenue. So this is a very basic question and it appears in every year of the bi uh, probability distribution method so please 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 go and remember them because they will be repeated every year so the first thing you need to know the there are fixed number of trial the difference between a poson and a binomial is that the binomial has a fixed number of trial while poson doesn't have okay a fixed number of trial means there are six set of red light so there are six trial that's why it's called a fixed number of trial so that is a main reason why it is a binomial fixed number of trial where the number of trial is equal to six. Second one there are two possible outcomes. So whether the, the outcome is the driver is required to stop or not to stop at the traffic light. So there are two possible outcomes. That is why it is called binomial. Binomial means two. So there are two possible outcomes and that is the second reason why it is a binomial. Thirdly, the probability of success, I mean the probability of stopping at the red light is always going to be constant. It is 0 0.45. So that is the third reason why it is a binomial. And last but not least, whether the driver stop at one set of red light is not dependent or independent on whether they must stop at another set of red light. So these are the four criteria for it to be binomial. If you can get two of them, think that will give you a merit. Okay. So if you can get these answers, two of the four reason you will get a merit so please remember go through these four criteria again remember them by heart in the exam just speed it out and you will get a merit okay great now we will bring question part two and that will involve the graphic calculator so i'm just going to put the question have a read first okay and then i just adjust the paper make sure it's straight okay and then we are going to bring in the graphic calculator okay so i'll bring the graphic calculator hopefully you can see over there okay so the question is, calculate the estimate of the probability that the driver is not required to stop at any of the six red light. So not required means x equal to zero or required to stop at all six. So that time probability x must be equal to six. So it's either zero or six. So we need to calculate the probability when x equal to zero and x equal to six and we're going to add them up because the word is all in 36 all means you add okay so now we need to calculate probability of x is zero so we're going to do that and then we're going to change it to x power uh, when x equals to six so what we're going to do is very straightforward so what we're going to do go statistics execute oh, then you go to distribution f5 is distribution now it's binomial first is normal t chi squared f test and binomial so binomial f5 press the f5 button Okay, because this is a point, x equal to 0, then we have to be BPD. Okay, remember you have to use BPD. Okay, for both. If it is more than 1 or less than 5, then you use the BCD, which is C represent the cumulative. So we're going to do BPD, so we're going to put F1. And now we're going to key in the data and get the value of x equal to 0. Okay, so x is 0, what you do, remember, for statistics, you always do the variable F2. Then you're going to put in number x equal to zero, so x remains zero, so execute, so exit, sorry. And then number of trial, there are six number of trial, so n equal to six, execute. P is a success, so p is 0 0.45, put in 0 
and then you execute and then now you execute again and the answer is going to be when x is zero the probability is 0 0.0277 you round them up all mean you add now you're going to calculate probability of x equal to 6 you're going to go back and exit the same number the only time is that your x now instead of 0 is going to be 6 the number of trial is still 6 the probability is 0 0.45 just press down 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 execute 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 sorry i have do time so this means the pop zero minus three means zero point zero zero there are three zero there and it's eight three okay now you're going to add the two numbers together and the number should come up to zero point zero three six so if you can answer that and you can find the probability that is another merit so part one a part a one uh, a part one is a merit Part 2 is also a merit. You can get under this, both these questions. You get two merit at the M6 in this paper. So hopefully you go through this and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.